Warning, warning. As a medical doctor, I must inform you that there are side effects to this coaching session. Beware. It may enhance your self-esteem, cause you to experience vibrant health, encounter long-term weight loss, heal damaged relationships. Warning, there are side effects to this coaching session. It may increase your enthusiasm for life and bring about hope. It may cause you to have productive and optimistic thinking. It could even help you not allow messed up people to ruin the rest of your life and help you realize the masterpiece that you are and empower you to be the boss of your brain. Warning, these side effects may be long-term. This is Dr. Isabel from DrOnAMission.com. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Chef Michael Culinary Nutrition Expert at DrOnAMission.com. Welcome uh, to 1215 p.m. New Zealand time, Dr. Nemission today. And uh, myself, along with my beautiful wife, uh, Dr. Isabel Functional medicine doctor here at Dr. Nemission. We are here to help you prevent and overcome disease and give you hope to do that. We are functional lifestyle medicine coaches here to serve you guys and add value to your life so you can live a long, happy, vibrant, energetic life without disease till the day you go die. We want you to be run right to the end and boom, okay, that's it. I'm by, I'm out of here. <laughs> so great to see you guys today. Uh, hey, it's Culinary Nutrition Expert Day Friday. Uh, so we talk things around food. Uh, sometimes we're in the kitchen. Sometimes we're here in the learning center. Uh, sometimes we're out shopping, doing all kinds of different things. But today, I'll tell you what, I have some very, very, well, this is important. This is massively important because this is going to be around an area where we just, we really kind of tend to don't talk a lot about it. I mean, we seem to always want to talk about physical health and working out, which is fantastic. Physical health is very important, uh, but there's also what's called brain health. Now today, why I want to talk about this is because it is so, so important. So here's, I'm going to be quoting you. Uh, from, and, and kind of paraphrasing a little bit, from an article that just came out today. Now, this is stuff that we've actually known for a while. Isabel and I, Dr. Isabel and I here at Dr. Nemission, we've been working with people on this. We've been helping them prevent and reverse now for a while. Uh, but we're starting to see it a little bit more mainstream out there. So I wanted to get this out here. to get, And now the article's entitled, The Diet That's Shrinking Your Brain. Now, first off, I want to say, well, it, the diet, well, diet, okay, well, what they mean in this is the original Greek term of diete, which is lifestyle. So don't think of diet as when they say this is something you do just for a temporary. This is about the really, it's about the lifestyle choices that people are making in all the world currently, okay? So here's what it's about. Now the average person, I'm just gonna read some of it because I need to, the average person is eating a lot more calories than they did 50 years ago, okay? Uh, and it's having devastating results on their brains, uh, a new study warns. People are eating an extra 650 kilo, kilo calories a day. So basically meaning they're eating like a, an extra burger and fries and soft drink a day than they did in the 1970s. This is from Australian National University Professor Nicholas Cherubon, who's the lead author of new research published in Frontiers in Neuroendocrinology, brain stuff, said there was a clear link between brain deterioration and unhealthy lifestyle choices. Brain deterioration, um, that's not good, all right? So this study uh, research reviewed results from 200 international studies and basically what they found is there is a link between type 2 diabetes, uh, overweight, obesity, and rapid deterioration of brain function. Another problem is that people are eating too much of the wrong types of food. 
such as fast food, processed foods, everything that's low in nutrients, really has no nutritional value and very high in calories. Wow. Now, here's, let me just point out a few other things that I put in here, that I didn't put in, that I, I'm reading in here. Even more worrying is that the damage of brain function, brain deterioration, starts a lot sooner than people think. Yep, uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, we found strong evidence that people's unhealthy eating habits and lack of exercise for sustained periods of time, meaning over years, put them at serious risk of developing type 2 diabetes and significant, decline, significant declines in brain functions such as Alzheimer's, dementia, brain shrinkage, um, and cognitive decline, Professor Cherbon said. People are eating away at their brain with a really bad diet, basically eating, and little to no exercise. It is people's diets in childhood and young adults and as adults that are crucial. Wow. Okay, so bottom line is, as Isabel and I, Dr. Isabel and I have been talking about recently in, in, you know, on lives and any information we can get out there, is that we now know, I mean, that the brain doesn't just automatically shrink. You know, when we're forgetting things and we have cognitive decline where we're a little bit foggy and as time goes on, you know, let's say it's in our 40s, 50s, 60s, or when, it's, you, we would always before just say, oh, it's just old age. Well, it's not just old age. This has been coming on because of the choices we're making, especially through nutrition. And... So we've got to understand, folks, got to understand this is so, so important that the brain is elastic. It can shrink or it can grow or it can stay the same. And how do we grow the, the brain? By using it, by also having proper nutrition, lifestyle, um, exercise, energy. Exercise doesn't have to be pounding and weights all day long, but just movement, movement, movement is so great for the body and for the brain and nutrition. The proper nutrition is so important for the brain. Uh, this study that they had here shows that now uh, somewhere between 30 and 40 percent, they don't have the exact number, but they say somewhere between 30 and 40 percent of the world's population is um, obese. 30 to 40 percent of the world's population would now be in the obese category. And also now that around 10 percent and growing around 10% currently of the world's population is either in pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes. That's 1 in 10 people. You probably already know somebody or, you know, um, I mean, pre-diabetes means people don't even know it. They're probably overweight or obese and they haven't been diagnosed as type 2 diabetes, but they pretty much are. They just haven't been diagnosed yet. 1 in 10 people already. And that's getting, pardon the pun, bigger and bigger. So, guys, I wanted to bring this up. This is so important to understand the fact that we can prevent, we can reverse, we can not end up in whatever age going, oh, well, all of a sudden I can't, and then boom. I mean, do, do you know somebody who has cognitive decline, Alzheimer's, dementia, is having brain problems, if you do, you will understand and know how yucky that is. And you definitely don't want it to be you, and you don't want it to happen to any of your friends, your family, your loved ones.